Greetings, this is Classic Games Redefined. My name's Rich, and we have a news item here. I was watching a review tech USA and found out about this. Apparently I'm busy doing stuff here. But this is stuff I've had personal experience with. I want to comment on this here. The whole eSport controversy. This is a Kotaku article, and apparently Callan Cowherd railed against this, saying he, he had to cover it, he'd rather put a bullet to his head. And other stuff like that there. You can go look it up. I'll post a link to this article. And also, yes, I mean, anything. Uh, you can watch, like, the Tech Guy, Rich Review Tech USA, not getting it and everything else. I will post a link to that also. So, anyhow, what I want to do here is discuss a little bit about eSports. Kind of fits the channel, because it's classic games. I'll also describe a little bit of my experience working in this area. Let me go a little bit of my experience. I had prior experience trying to get a venture off the ground. <laughs> to a lot of money, didn't quite work. Of automating bar leagues. And it was involved with part of the technology would be poker and stuff, and running an internal network, televising the games, getting people to watch everything else. Uh, it came off the advent of poker. With poker going in the video and everything else going on here. And getting televised, if you remember the poker boom. It just never came off. I had to look into different things here, working with different associations eventually, because the thing broke down and went different ways. But I'm just talking about things here, and I realized the importance of getting things televised. So, my take on this here about this... Uh, so let me go a little bit further where this stands now. Let's go a little bit into the esports side of things. I mean, what is a sport? The International Olympic Committee won't have chess and it, won't have bridge, won't have this category called mind sports in it at all. They don't consider real sports. There's a category of mind sports and then there is a offshoot organization they have, something related with them, that actually deals with the mind sports they do. And they have the World Mind Sport Games, which seems to not be able to get televised properly or get sufficient ratings. And they televise this. I mean, they don't televise, sorry. They, they, it doesn't, the attempt to televise, it doesn't get sufficient ratings. So the end result was it doesn't go anywhere. Poker got televised, ended up being popular. But like, excuse me, I'm sidebarring, let's go back to a sport. According to the Olympic Committee, these mind sports aren't real sports. Let's get out of the way. Depending on the measure of classic competition, there has to be a degree of physical activity, not just mental activity involved with this here. So that's the reason why something like poker, which is respected and popular and all that, and it's a game of skill, ends up not getting recognized as a real sport. There's certain effort, There are certain physical attributes reading people and stuff, but it's mainly mental. Then you have these esports that fit in a very similar category. I'll come out flat to say, by the standard definition of what's a sport, they're not sports. Poker's not a sport. Chess isn't a sport. They're mind sports. In the video game side, you call esports. They're done differently. They're human competitions. Because of the definition of game ends up being so broadly vague and everything else, the closest thing you got to latch on to it is to call it a sport, and that's where esports come from. So, one may argue, I think I was reading this article here, or was another article, actually it was another article opposed to this, saying we shouldn't televise this here. Apparently the president of ESPN says he really wanted to do real sports, but reality is they do poker because it got sufficient, ra it's received resistant ratings, they did spelling bees, they've done stuff here. And ESPN stands for Entertainment Sports Programming Network. So you have that there. My thoughts on this here, let me get to my opinion on this. This is good. There is no downside to this here, but the fact is you get a major professional broadcaster and media televise this and show how to do it, you're going to lead to advancements in televising techniques. And to be honest, anything that you get that gets media attention that draws it to it is good for the sport, the game, the activity, the competition. It's good for the competition. It's good. It's good for generating popularity. Karu no Go, which I think I've made an example before. The fact is I got a manga and anime and did that, got an interest in it. Anything I could tell I was going to do it. The downside is not being accessible to new, new people. You really have to work on a media technique to make it accessible. Chess has that problem, being televisable because of the timing and everything else. So anyhow, these are my thoughts. Please post your comments below on this. I, you know, I welcome comments here. 
So, but this is good news. The fact that ESPN will pick up and cover esports and gets it, and apparently there was a report they got sufficiently good enough ratings that it was worthwhile. You know, that's that is good news. There is no downside to this. Don't watch it if you don't like it. But if it leads to exposure to greater people getting involved with this stuff here, and also here's another thing that's very important. People will say, what do you need? What we need is Twitch. All we need is this stuff like this, everything else here. We, we don't need legacy media because it's dying. We don't need it. That's the gamer snob mentality that you have. Keep the, keep the newbies out. Because this stuff, what do we need them for? Well, let's look at the reality here. It helps to have new people. There's the stigma as Callan Cower goes ahead. With, I mean, whatever else. These guys have comment, neckbeard comments, living in mama's basement, all that other stuff here. How can you think this stuff here? I mean, for you to lift it, you have to have a greater exposure to players and show it. By the way, mental health, mental activity benefits from cog, benefits from physical activity at this point. If you have people doing things physically, it's of benefit. And it will help improve your cognitive skills. So there is also physical training with it that helps people. And it's been shown, but it's mainly not there. The same thing with like physical activity, running can benefit from mental training. But anyhow, please post your comments below. I don't see any downside with the as picking up. And matter of fact, it would be good if we get. E we'll put it this way: if you're into games, and we got legacy media. And ESPN is able to spin off an e ESPN E or something else, or have a network with the stuff here that generates viewers and has that and could be a network and lends the media type to do increased production. More games get exposure. More of the games do this here. Will Wheaton's tabletop might get picked up, for example. And then this stuff becomes a message to promote. So it's a good thing. Anyhow, those are my thoughts. Feel free to share your thoughts. And all I have to say is thank you for watching and listening. May your die. Always roll five.